she just got worse and worse. Please, try one more bite. She was vomiting every day, 10, 11 times, 12 times a day. Depending on the day, it was very bad. And she couldn't keep anything down, and I started to really worry. I'm going to be late. They let me miss a couple of days, but I couldn't miss every day of school. I felt this sense of dread watching my daughter suffer and not, not knowing what to do. By week three, Haley's mystery illness is making Christine seriously worried. I would try to distract her a lot, and so I was in the bathroom with her, helping her primp out her hair. All of a sudden, she just, like, glazed over. Haley. Haley. And I panicked. That scared me so bad. Haley. Oh my God, wake up. And it happened so fast. I was shaking her. Haley, wake up! Wake up! Wake up! Wake up! It was just seconds. Honestly, felt like many, many, many long minutes. What happened? I don't know. Look at me. Look at me. Christine realizes that this is no ordinary stomach flu. I knew something was very wrong. Christine rushes Haley to the emergency room, where doctors run a full panel of tests. They did blood work and x-rays. They were testing for all kinds of diseases, autoimmune diseases, her blood count. OK, x-rays and initial blood tests are back. What is it? What's wrong with her? Well, so far, nothing. And those just pretty much came back normal. She's vomiting every day, screaming in pain, crying at night. How can there be nothing wrong with her? 